So we need a template to line these line these holes up with our box that we're going to build. So to make that template, you just lay a piece of paper over top. You want to get it in the position where you want it. And you just take a pencil or a crayon and go over it. That's where my mounting holes are. Yeah, that high tech things are template. Now we just lay that over top of this. It's hard to get those little nuts welded on. At least for me with a MIG. Just anti-seize the bolts. Oil the stuff after you get done. I hope it comes apart. Now don't feel intimidated and feel like your enclosure has to be this nice. You can use that cardboard box I was using if you want. While we're waiting for that paint to dry, let's tin these wires and start putting together some connectors. Trim these up so they fit a little bit better in the connector. Every pin is numbered and you just do the other side to the corresponding numbers and it's keyed so it fits together. So if you do it right everything should line up.
Now I got this screen mount off Thingiverse and this knob was a separate one. I got that too. Put that on the front here. I pre-threaded all the holes with the screws just so they go together easier. Got our 80 millimeter fan. I go ahead and tin the wires with the soldering iron, the ones that get put into the power supply. Printed up some tiny little spacers. Just go behind the board to keep the stuff off the metal. And that's our mount. Got my ramps board. I think that's going to work out pretty nice. So you need to set your driver amperage. And this is no replacement for the good write-up that's on the V1 forum. Uh, check that out. Anyway, you gotta hook a meter up. Gotta check voltage off the pot on these. I think we just move each axis. There. Now all the every axis will be stopped. And I had set mine before, there, 0.65 volts. I think that's good for what I want. Now you're just checking from the potentiometer to your power ground and looking for the correct reading for your driver. We have this pretty much together. Arduino, ramps, relay, power supply. And then we have X and Z axis on the 8 pin. Y down there in the 4 pin, the bottom one. Our fan way down in there. Display. That display case we made. Yeah, I know it's crooked. Yeah, I think it's ready to mount here on the machine and do some testing. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Glad you could join us.